Hi YouTube, it's Kathy, Happy Bookmas, or should I say, hello class, I'm your teacher Kathy, and I will be teaching you muggle studies today. This is of course for the teacher class challenge for the seven days of Harry Potter giveaways, but you probably gathered that from the title. Today in muggle studies, we will be doing a crash course on games played by muggles. These will be the most rudimentary games, and then we'll move on to harder games as the weeks go on. First, games that only need paper and pens. Pens are like quills, but with less fashion sense. The first game is Knots and Crosses. In the Americas, they call this tic-tac-toe. And the point of this game is to place your mark in one of these locations to try to create three in a row. And of course, you'll want to prevent your opponent from doing the same. Another popular paper and pen game with the muggles is Hangman. In this game, you are trying to guess what is spelled out at the bottom using the letters of the alphabet, and every time you do this wrong, your hangman gets another body part. I have absolutely no idea what this one could be. Sometimes you can play games and you don't even need anything, you just need your own hands. Of course, we're familiar with that here in the magic world, but the muggles don't have the magic to work with. I'm going to explain the incredibly intricate workings of rock, paper, scissors. This is meant to signify rock. This is meant to signify paper. And this is meant to signify scissors. When playing against an opponent, on the count of three, you will choose one of these symbols. Each of these symbols has the ability to defeat one of the items or lose against the other. For instance, rock beats scissors because a rock can break scissors. Scissors can cut through paper and paper can cover rock because of course once something is covered it is defeated. The last portion of our lesson today has to do with pieces of paper again, but these are different pieces of paper. These are called cards. Now some of you may have heard that muggles seem to think that they can do magic. There are magicians, so to speak, and they sometimes use cards to perform illusions that are actually just sleight of hand. There are actually games that non-magical muggles can play using cards. Now granted, this is a very unusual deck as all of these cards have men wearing kilts on them because they're mine. But you can get playing cards in all sorts of different varieties. Be sure to arrive on time for class next week as we will be discussing video games, a very popular muggle pastime. Until then, obviously be sure to leave a comment down below with your favorite muggle game. On the way down to the comments, please hit that like button and share if you do so wish. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for more Bookmas. Goodbye.